This video was inspired by Matt at Quantum of Consciousness channel. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I'll give it a try. Welcome. Now here, in this opening shot, we're looking at a picture of San Francisco. I believe the date is 1870-something, and it is pre-earthquake. And of course, San Francisco beginning in 1849, hence the 49ers. And this is one of my favorite pictures challenging the narrative that in about 25 years we have a complete build out of the city of San Francisco. And not just a build out, but a beautiful build out in 25 years and in another 25 years after this picture we would see the complete leveling of the city of San Francisco and so mind-boggling are these photos and trying to make any sense of them that Matt was proposing that some of these may be faked or photoshopped and especially pertaining to the film footage shot before and after the earthquake on Market Street. And we'll have a little look at those today. But next I want to just jump over to a very similar photo, not as glorious, but equally astounding in its own right. And here we see a photo of San Francisco after the fire and earthquake and again pretty amazing resolution but playing off of Matt's theme could this picture be a faked picture because when I began looking at photos and film footage of San Francisco after the fire maybe 10 years 15 years later we see a complete built-out city again, just as it's unusual to look at the build-out of this city in the 1870s, just seeming to pop up amazing advanced architecture and a very seasoned culture. And shortly after this apocalyptic image, not taking very long at all to rebuild this city. And just to give you an idea, we'll have a look at a piece of film that was shot in Chinatown. And this piece of film was shot in 1912. And what amazed me was from this perspective, we see very little damage to the city of San Francisco. So this would only be six years after this photo. Six years. And I invite you to look at images post Great Fire of San Francisco. And I think what you'll notice is the same thing. Here we can see the skyline. Chinatown, 1912. Heinz 57. Looks like the camera is inverted. But here we go. Very little damage, none at all actually. Skyscrapers and not seeming as if there was a great earthquake and fire. If we're to believe that this piece of film footage was really shot in 1912. This is only six years after the earthquake. So really seeming like these timelines are either jumbled or completely falsified and this city looking just as glorious in 1912 as it did in 1875 1875 why should a city originally of 1000 people in 1849 blossom into something like this in around 25 years and how is it even conceivable that the city should look like this 
25 years later, and by 1912, looking like this. Again, old and seasoned and seeming inherited, and just a fascinating piece of film. I'll leave the link down below for you. And even the Chinatown, seeming very seasoned, not like a pop-up gold mining town, but a very established community who had time to not only build a city, but apparently build under the city as well. And to further build on Matt's ideas and the anomalies associated with these films, could this film have been faked? I'm not sure why this film won't load. Junk. But here what we can see is people looking off casually in the distance as the city burns. And by accident, this non-loading YouTube froze at this frame, which I'm actually grateful for. And I think I see this image is simply going to pop into the next image, which is seen behind it. These big buildings over here as well. And this actually just bleeding through, giving the impression that there is a massive building amongst the smoke and fire and really pretty appropriate giving us an idea of how very simply and in this case on accident a photo can be manipulated and I have proposed in past videos that some of the photos that we do see could be very simply taken by somebody in this previous civilization. If people could build in this fashion, they most certainly could create a camera, and one better than ours, with amazing resolution, even in the distance. And these photos may have very well been found in these abandoned buildings along with the cameras and the technology and everything that we seem to have inherited and as we stroll down this street market street we see a well-seasoned city and civilization now could these be the prior people I don't think so. I think these seem like the inheritors. Wearing inherited clothes, using this inherited world, but in ways that don't seem to compare to their surroundings. Seeming to be a primitive people, acting very primitive, like this. Like this man, almost getting hit by this tram, just very reckless and uncultured, seeming to be just figuring things out. A real mess and a lot of stupidity. And I encourage you to watch Matt's video. He showcases 40 anomalous things that occur. Here we see these trams not even needing tracks. And just a mess just an absolute mess like what you just saw there I mean these people are completely reckless and he was considering that this whole piece of film footage may have just been staged just so ridiculous and why I don't know just an idea and again, this was filmed 10 days before the earthquake. And miraculously, this piece of footage, they tell us, was shipped out the day before and preserved. And really, I was looking for pictures post-earthquake. 
here by mid-1916, we see the city of San Francisco. Again, like the Chinatown video that I was showing, completely built out as if nothing had ever happened. And here we have a look at the rubble and ruins post-fire. This film provided by the Library of Congress. Again, does a fire do this? Yes, perhaps an earthquake, but just blasting. These look like explosions from the inside. And I'm just not sure. But really being a piece of evidence in this mystery. And what I have read about is these firemen were actually dynamiting a lot of these buildings, as we just saw in that last clip. And I think what is certain is that there is a great mystery. And I think the mystery is the same when it comes to these cities all throughout our plane. If we can figure one out, I think we'll understand all of them. And so what is real and what is fake? And in somewhat of a conclusion, was the piece of film before the earthquake the fake or is it this fire? And are we really just seeing a big demolition? And it wouldn't be the first time, even in our recent history, seeing grand demolitions in front of our very eyes being attributed to aluminum planes. And this is just astounding. And what leads me to question all of this is, again, the rebuilding of the city. Seeing very little evidence 10, 15 years later that there was ever this massive cataclysm of this nature. And again, the most anomalous fire ever. A fire that seems to not leave any debris in the streets, doesn't seem to burn trees, but does have the ability to level and tear down brick structures. And this is a topic I will most certainly revisit again and again until we get some answers. But for today, I thank you so much for joining me and do have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe.